Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, there's no Palo Verdes in the air today. They're out there blooming, but I'm feeling pretty good. I took some of this stuff that someone tried to take, uh, Astro Pro Nasal Spray. Took one little squirt of that, and for the last 24 hours, I have been relatively uh, free. So thank you very much for the medical experience. And I have my attorney looking in to see what your medical background is in case uh, I have a legal obligation to sue you. <laughs> That's a joke. Hey, folks, I posted a chart here of Top Gun man himself, Jim Bartolioni. He'll be our guest next week. He's got some really great stuff. If you remember about three weeks ago, maybe about yeah, about a month ago, he came on with his uh, prediction that the banking stocks at the uh, NASDAQ KRE were in big trouble and looks like they was going to go down. It was a 3A2 exactly uh, with an ABCD pattern there on the weekly and uh, the, the index dropped uh, you know, a considerable amount. Some of them are, are no longer uh, on that index because they went bankrupt, but he will be our guest again uh, coming up next week. This afternoon at 1.30 in, uh, in a half an hour, we're going to have uh, Paula uh, Webb Douglas has got a little special that she has and then uh, for for traders that are losing or just breaking even. And then also uh, she's going to have something at 2.30 offering the same thing. But let's get to the heart of the matter, folks, and that is Fibonacci. Here's where we were. I just wanted to show you the other day. I know you're not going to believe this stuff, and if you don't believe in Fibonacci, folks, I uh, – I sympathize with you, actually, because I think it's a good thing. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. But there was the number right there, 33,848. That was the 61% retracement. It, last night, it backed off to exactly the 0.382 retracement right before the report came on. And from that, it went all the way up and made a new high by eight pips and now has collapsed down and has gone back below the 382. It's dropped over 400 points to the downside. So something really big happened at that point. Now, what I'd like for you to look at is I'm going to update this so that you can see it, how accurate it actually is. <clears throat> Hold on one second here. Now I have to worry about a frog in my throat besides the Palo Verdes. <laughs> anyway, you'll see here that uh, this is uh, right up to this level here. We hit it, hit it exactly, and now we're, we're, way, we're, we're way down below here now. But what was interesting, folks, and I think I made a copy of it while it was going on because I like to show these in real time. Uh, right after this big 400-point uh, drop, guess what? It rallied exactly to the 382 at 33,578, and now it's about 150 pips uh, below that. So... I'm trying to, what I try to do, I guess I'm repetition is the mother of knowledge. And uh, I, and if I can prove to you that some of these things work, then by golly, that, that's what my job is. And that's what I try to do. And so that's what I'm going to be looking at uh, as we look at some of these things here today. Because we've had some really, really big things happen. Now, it was a little bit different in the E-mini S&P. Let's just show you where we are here with the E-mini S&P. That was the Dow E-mini, of course. Now we're going to look at the E-mini S&P. And as we look at this now, you see these each day, so they're not mystery. You can see the A, B, C, D that we made here. We went right up to the 61% retracement. We went right here to the 382 retracement right there. We went four points below it. The number was 41.24. We went to 41.20. And for there, from there, we went straight up. 40 handles stopping exactly 
at 41.73. That was a 78% of that high right back here. And now we're coming down, going below. This is a major, major thing happening here, folks, today. That is good news and bad action. And if you've ever read Reminiscences of a Stock Operator, then that's something that you really should pay attention to, okay? Because that book gets behind the ideas of uh, Jesse Livermore. And, of course, he was a great speculator. He did not uh, die bankrupt. Uh, he died, he committed suicide because he was in love with a 19-year-old uh, dancer from Louisiana that was in the Follies, and she was in love with uh, somebody else. And the, my old beeper is... Uh, breaking right now there's the s p making new lows that's not a good sign unless you're short hold on just a second here i want to turn this off and we'll see what's going on and we will go from there and not to worry but got lot, there's so many fibonacci stuff going on today folks mr fibonacci uh, leonardo de pisa the fibonacci should be here today you know just talking about these things but anyway let me get the s p up here and uh, it's breaking. That, that was the beeper telling me that we're going back below the uh, the new 382, which is now we're now breaking below uh, this level right now. But uh, we had a, a beautiful 382 retracement after the move broke. We had a, just like in the, the S&P, just in the, did the same thing as the Dow. Really nice 382 retracement. And now we're breaking down, uh, breaking, breaking down uh, below it. So. That's what I wanted to uh, talk about. There's a couple historical things that are important. Let's do let's do the one in the gold market because here again, we were doing uh, the exact same thing in the gold market. If you want copies of these folks, if you'll uh, if you'll let me know, I will send them out as long as you send in a big big uh, hundred and fifty dollar donation per chart. And I'm now I'm just joking, but if you do want the charts, I'll be happy to. Uh, uh, show you, but here's what we did here. There was the 382. We we shorted it right here. It went right down to our price level within one dollar, and then boom, we went right up and we stopped exactly at the 61. And this is really important, folks, because I had several people ask me a question. What I did was I picked the 78% level of this level right here to come in right there, but that's also. 61% of this high right here. There was a double number there that I missed. Why I just picked this one, I don't know, but I should have picked this one. I want to thank uh, WR over there in uh, uh, New York City to bring this to my attention because you have to take the highest high here, and I didn't do that. It worked okay because it made the 78% level of that one, but it also made the 61%. And, folks, it wasn't there on the blink of an eye, like Starship Enterprise just went over, it was gone. And it's now breaking down at 429. It's dropped well over $30 from that level. And we're taking out the 3A2. This is a major, major thing that's going on in all these markets today. And that's why it's so important. And we need to pay attention to it because guess what? We have to pay a few bills. 877 927 6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I'm going to go through a little uh, talk here about historical stuff. I put a chart up here of the Treasury bonds over the last 10 years. Uh, you can see the big green uh, triangles there. That's basically a three drive to a top pattern. Uh, you can see the uh, ABCD pattern up here at the 190 level uh, that it was hitting. And this is when they were telling us about uh, negative interest rates, how wonderful it was. And now you can see the ABCD to the downside, and now we're in the midst of this uh, 382 rally that's been going on that should end up around the 138 level. But let's go through just a little bit of the history of this stuff. They keep saying that the Treasury bonds, uh, the faith of the U.S. government has never been ch uh, ch ch changed before, and that is not true. On August the 15th, of 1971, Richard M. Nixon, President of the United States, took us off the U.S. dollar standard. In other words, he said the U.S. dollars would no longer be re redeemed in dollars. It said if you have one of the old bills, which I have some of them, it says pay to the bear in demand one ounce of gold, one ounce of silver, whatever it happens to be. And that was full faith in government uh, ever since that time. And since 1971, that has not been the case. And the reasoning behind it is they were trying to kill inflation. Folks, if you ever believe anything that some of the governments tell you, don't ever believe anything that was as silly as that. Basically, that brought on inflation. We were doing really good in 1970 until what happened was they took us off the gold standard, and that made them to be able to print as many dollars as they wanted because they didn't have to be redeemed for anything. It's a fiat currency, just like all the other currencies are. One year later was the beginning of the forex markets in the, the in the starting in London. That's where the, the home of the forex is. This was the careers of the the main guys from the Commodity Corporation, uh, Bruce Covener, billionaire, Ed Sakota. Hundreds of million, uh, Rick Barnes, uh, hundreds of millions. Uh, Mike Marcus, he was the one that ran silver from four dollars up to fifty-four dollars, uh, and uh, those those guys made an absolute fortune. But that was the start of the foreign exchange markets, because they realized there was a foreign, the foreign. And what happened was, it was, uh, uh oh, what's going on here? Something's wrong. Oh, I can't do that right now. 
doggone it. Let's get this out of the way and we'll be uh, be okay. Sorry, that was. Uh, <clears throat> but I would get my train of thought again, folks. That was. The, sorry, um, but it was the start of the foreign exchange markets, and it was basically what it was: is that ours being the cleanest, dirty shirt, and that's how this whole thing started. It, it's been a huge uh, business for for many years. Uh, oh dear, I can't. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, folks, I have to take this. I'm sorry. This is the caretaker for my friend Steve. That was good news. He's uh, coming out of his coma, which is good news, but he's still not doing too well. Let me get back to this, okay? And let me try to get my thoughts together. Um, this was the start of the foreign exchange markets. Now, in 1972, at the same time, Nixon took us off uh, the 71. He took us off the gold standard. But in 72, they allowed people to buy gold before they were not able to buy gold from 1935. Till 1972, and gold at that time, even though it was seven thirty-five dollars an ounce, officially it was trading for about 120, 130. Well, that was in 72, and it was brought on to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Ah, uh, that's not true, Larry. It was brought on at the the knife of Chicago, the New York Metals Exchange started it, and then about two years after that, 74, the uh, CME came in. And did it, and then they they been trading together. Well, the CME is the the big one now, but then in the London Metal Exchange, they had a London fix, and they, the fix was an absolute joke, also. But anyway, that's how how the, all this stuff started, and you know, and so we've been in a fiat currency for years, but they've never defaulted on a Treasury bond because if you had a hundred thousand dollar bond, it was worth a hundred thousand dollars, but. If you'd held that bond, let's say you bought that bond in 72, and they didn't start trading until 72, and no, 76 is when the bond started trading, 1976, because that's uh, right when I started uh, working at Drexel, they started trading bonds. And the bonds were trading at about 60. They were trading at under a uh, 40% under the face value. So if you bought a, a $100,000 bond for $40,000, you would be able to get that money uh, when it if, when it would mature, you'd get it at a hundred thousand dollars. The problem was inflation was at thirteen or fourteen percent, so it de de deflated it by quite a bit. But anyway, it became a very large market, and the top was made here two years ago up at that one seventy level when they tried to tell us that it was all about negative interest rates. And folks, that's that's why I'm a chartist. You know, I I can look at these things all day long and say, holy cow, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? And that's the main thing that uh, that I'm that I'm really worried about, you know, that whether these things uh, can do it. I, I, frank, frankly, folks, if you want to know, I am in a state of shock because Steve is out of his coma. And that's what that call was about. And uh, I'm very, very happy to see that. So I'll chat with him a little bit later. But it literally shook me up. He's been such a good friend and he's had such a great life. And I. Uh, it's been tough, but uh, gosh, I've lost so many friends over the past five or six years that it, uh, it's a little shaking me um, as we go through. Now, I wanted to uh, talk to you. We talked about the gold on what it did, and the next one we're going to be looking at. I've got so much today, I could probably talk for three hours, but I'm only going to talk for two. This happens to be the silver market. And by the way, if you do have any phone calls, Al tells me right now that the thing is all lit up. You just can't get anything into the uh, uh, sequence right now. So what we're watching now is a uh, – oh, Al said a line just opened up. But you'll notice here uh, the silver went up to the uh, 60, 78 percent level. You saw it hit it exactly like gold. It stayed there for a heartbeat. And now has broken down uh, badly. So this is a this was a major A B C D here in the silver 
exactly at the 78% level at 620. And we've been talking about that 620 level for, for quite a while. So these are some of the things that are happening in the Fibonacci family today. And that's why I think that they're uh, so very, very exciting. But the fun part will be Paula T is going to be coming up here a little bit, talking a little bit about the psychology of this. And then we're going to uh, be back with you after we after we take a break. So I hope that uh, when we uh, get back that you'll have some questions for us and we'll have some others. I got some other charts that look really nice. One in particular is that it is not working. Almost all of them are working with the exception of the one, <coughs> the one for natural gas. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and we had a lot of requests to have Paula back on this week. And she has got something special for you folks. So, Paula... I think you and I were chatting yesterday about trying to help people that were still losing all the time or just barely breaking even. Is there anything you can do for them? Sure. Uh, let's do this exercise this morning. For all of you out there listening, get out your wallets and take out some money. 
cash, okay, not your debit card, and put it in front of you. Okay. Okay, so now you're looking at this money. Touch it, feel it, look at it, see how pretty the dollar bills are created. You know, here's, here's, here's a 20, okay? So you're going to look at it. You know, they're really good designers for the money, all right? But so you have to ask yourself, how much, what, was, what is the denomination that you took out of your wallet? The well, largest one I, was, I had, which was a dollar. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a good story here. At any given moment, when we were hanging around with Robert St. John, the legendary T-Bond trader, as you know, Rob, uh, Larry, at any given moment, he had eight to $10,000 in cash in his wallet. Yep. This is no lie. And you know why he carried that money? To remind himself to stay connected to the very money he wanted to grow as a trader. So if, if you don't connect to your cash, and I'm not saying you have to carry eight to 10,000 in your wallet like Robert St. John did, but if you're not connected to the money that's in your trading account, meaning you're paying attention to it, you know, you're not ignoring your losses by not looking at your statements, anything like that, then, then, you know, you can't grow your money if you don't know your money. Okay, that, that's my new catchphrase, all right? You can't grow your money if you don't know your money. And if you don't know your money by keeping track of it all and being honest about your results, then you're gonna keep losing. Yep. This is a fact, guys. It's just, it's, it's just common sense, right? It's just yep. money management, all right? And if you don't have any money management principles, then give me a call for the free chat and I will walk you through it, all right? Yep. A lot, a lot of people don't have money management. Yeah. So, you know, so, Paula, do you remember? Do you remember the experiment that Mark did with uh, on on, um, on Michigan Avenue with free money today? Remember exactly. He, he stand there and he he literally had free money to give away, and people would say, "No, I don't need any." They really didn't believe that they could get free money today. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I stood there with him for an hour. He couldn't give it away. Not not even well. They didn't have hobos back in those days, or excuse me, homeless. But uh, it was really amazing. I used to keep because of that experience. I used to keep a thousand dollar bill on my uh, desk to remind uh, myself yeah, I remember. The, right. the value of money. And uh, of course, that, I gave that thousand dollar bill to the kids, but uh, that, that now has a you value. Didn't give it to me? Oh uh, no, I did, I'm I did, But you sent it back because you it had a crease in it. You didn't <laughs> like it, but it, it has a face value of a thousand dollars. But the problem is that it's uh, it's worth about thirty five hundred. We got them right from the Byron and I got them right from the Federal Reserve there in uh, in Chicago back in oh god that was in uh, eighty three I think. Anyway, right. listen, uh, I'm going to have you on again, uh, and we'll, we'll talk more about this. But that, that the fact is, if you, if you don't realize that you're keeping score with money and you're supposed to do the right thing, the money's going to be right there in front of you, and you don't ever have to worry about it again. And that's the, that's the real important exactly. thing. So I think it's real important. So have the folks try that for a little bit. Call Paula if you have any. Uh, uh, give them your new phone number, PT, because I know you've got, just got a new number, and that might uh, help you to uh, get some people to call in. 760-636-4290. Uh, that's the office number. That's And you can enough. just go to the website right here, paulatweb.com, and uh, contact me that way, too. I'm here seven okay. days a week for all of you. Yeah, well, this is what our week is. It's always seven days. It's never been never been nine. If there were nine days, we'd do nine days, but we only get to do exactly. seven. <laughs> right. Yeah, because we love what we do. Yeah, that's that's uh, amen to that. That's for sure. Listen, thanks for joining us, and we'll have you on here at the next section at the same time, right around 2.30 uh, New York time, okay? Okay. See you soon. Okay. You bet. All right. Paula T. Douglas, folks, and that is a, that's absolutely a true story about that giving money away, free money, because uh, it's amazing because when you have your machine and you're watching it, uh, the dollars going up and down, you're starting to that, – that, that all that money does is it floats in front of you and you don't want to do it. Uh, I, I heard uh, – Mark give this lecture to so many of these guys that were, you know, they want to buy a new Ferrari and they would be thinking about the Ferrari. And Mark would say, look, you see this billboard right here? 
that's got the Ferrari on it. He said, push that billboard back, and in front of it, put your trade up, because if you do the trade, the Ferrari is right behind it waiting. But if you've got the Ferrari in front of it, you're thinking of the money, and that ain't going to work, because uh, when you've got good news or bad news and these things go up or down, they can fake you out of a trade or you know get your mindset. You know, they, they see prices going down. You know, they, they keep dropping and dropping and, you know, you're long and you're saying, oh, what am I going to do pretty soon? It's goodbye car, goodbye house, goodbye boat, goodbye uh, savings account and then goodbye wife. And then it's all over and then you get to start over again. So this the only thing that's different between us and gambling here is we can decide when we get in and when we get out. In gambling, you do not have that decision. As soon as that event starts. You have no control over it. But in trading, you can make a mistake, get out of Dodge, and start and do it again. And that's really all you have to do as you're starting to do this. Uh, I want to try to spend more time each day uh, talking a little bit about the stuff that Mark taught me while we were together here for six years. I keep, I keep my handwritten notes, and this is the Bible of all the stuff that was in the, the class that he used to give. And uh, it's always uh, amazing. And, of course, the, the secret to everything is you have to have a foundation and trust of what you believe in. It doesn't make any difference whether it's a moving average or a Tom DeMarc, nine count. Uh, stochastic if you can get it to work for you then it works for you and that's what counts i'm an abcd person tossing in a little sprinkle of a uh, head of a uh, you know a little bit of fibonacci a little bit of uh, simple time counts and stuff like that nothing more than add subtract multiply and divide and that get, gets me to the home uh, it gets me to the home the homeland and that's uh, that's what i'm trying to do we've had a, a pretty good day today and you know, that's, they're not always that way. Sometimes you have good days, sometimes you have bad days, but what you want to do is to keep your, uh, you know, game plan working in the right direction, and then you should be, uh, should used to be just fine, I think. At least I'm hoping that's the way it is. That's the way it's been working for a long time. I don't think it'll be any different. So if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6640. Remember, folks, our guest on Friday will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. And uh, he's always got some really good stuff on the crude oil. And we'll cover crude oil here uh, in the second part of this after we come up uh, to our next break. But we want to be uh, – uh, that was a really great uh, description of what Mark used to talk about with money because it, it, it really is important. Don't look at money when you're trading, folks. Okay, we're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today 
and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I'm going to go through a series of 382 retracements today. I've already been through the one on the Dow Jones and the S&P. Uh, and now I'm going to uh, do the one. Uh, this happens to be uh, for uh, this happens to be soybeans. We went right up to this. It's backed off about $500. Uh, the, the other one that we I'm going to go through a bunch of them because they excuse me folks that wasn't soybeans that was the that was the, that was the treasury bond I'll do the soybeans I'll do the soybeans next because it did uh, why they do the same 382s I don't know but all I know is these darn things work and that's why it's so exciting and then you'll be looking at that there's what you'll be looking at right here there was your 382 retracement right here it was also 61 percent of that you had the 382 right here. You had the beautiful A, B, C, D pattern to the downside. So um, it's just a matter of trying to identify uh, some of these patterns and making sure that they line up the way that you think they should be lined up. Okay, that's the uh, main thing. But I've already covered the one on the E-mini S&P. I did the gold and I did the Dow Jones and I want to do the euro. Okay, now here is the one in the euro. This one's a little bit tricky, and the reason why is we've been short this for quite some time, and uh, what we were looking for was to see uh, the bottom. As you can see here, we're waiting for this bottom to form. There was your 382 last night, and then right before the report, which came down and took out this low by one tick, and we said uh, look for the rally to come up here to get short again, and uh, whether you, you know, I would, I, I tried to get filled there. I didn't. I got filled around here, and then I put it back out in here somewhere because it's still in a downtrend. But it was moving so fast, and I'm doing so darn many things, I just couldn't get it done right. But you can see it's a pretty nice ABCD. It misses the target by about 10 pips, and, you know, that's like uh, – that, that happens. There's nothing else you can do about that. So uh, one that uh, I think is very important. But here's one that just didn't work and let, let, I want to go through the sequence for you okay first we'll do one right here and that will be the natural gas and it was quite easy to see that it was not going to work because you didn't have to risk very much and if you put this up here and take a look at it there's your ABCD to the downside this is where we were looking to get long we thought it was going to get up here we bought it Sunday night we had our price objective up here buying the 382 retracement this one was not a 382 because it made a higher high you see if you did a 382 off of this one it didn't make it but if you do the 382 off of this one right here it made it today at 219 but it went two dollars below it so a two dollars is all we wanted to risk and so we took a uh, took a loss on that I, I don't even know what it did after that because once i could complete a trade it's history mystery it's gone i don't want to have anything to do with it so that's the main thing. I try to get that stuff. And folks, I don't, I do not have the function on my uh, computer to tell me, you know, what the equity is uh, on the uh, 
on the, whether I'm making or losing or anything. I, I don't. I had them take that off so that it's not a. I don't have to worry about the money. I just worry about the price of the thing, because that that thing with the money, that's not a good thing, folks. I mean, it it really it really does. Uh, and that's one of the things that made Tom Hugard the great trader that he is. He had to he had to reprogram himself when he would see him making thirty or forty grand, and he said, "Oh boy, that's a lot of money. I better take it." And then pretty soon he'd be up eighty grand. As soon as he figured out that was the wrong thing to do, he became the great trader, and that's it. And uh, by the way, uh, I've been I just signed a contract today, and I'm going to be doing live trading with Tom in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, in November. And uh, for a couple of days, and I think uh, we're going to have a. We've got some nice. Uh, he's already got some nice folks signed up, and we haven't got the date exactly signed up. Is two two hotels uh, that we've got the book. They're, we're just waiting for the final offer, and uh, but it's going to be a, a done deal, and we're going to have some fun uh, doing that for two full days, and that'll be ten hours each day, uh, a lot of fun. And uh, he said, "You sure you can do it at your age?" And I said, "Bubba, I met him in Las Vegas in 2003, so it's been 20 years, and I met him. Uh, I'll tell I'll tell the story because it was fun. He was there to see to, to see Bryce Gilmore. Uh, Tom had been running uh, City Indexes." Uh, CNBC show uh, on CNBC every day for uh, uh, Mike Spencer, and he gave his ideas of what the market was doing. He was very personable, and he did a great job. And uh, uh, when he left, uh, Mike Spencer gave him 18 months of uh, full pay, and that was that got him started in his full-time trading career. And he was able to do it. But he was there to see Bryce Gilmore of two days of trading. And of course, we got there, and the problem was. Bryce went out with his friends from Los Angeles that for from Australia, and they got they got in about four o'clock in the morning, and we were supposed to start at five. Well, he didn't quite make it until one o'clock, <laughs> and so Mark Mark and I were there, and Ro of course Robert St. John was there, Rich Anderson was there, and uh, Mark said, "Go on, take over." He says, "You know what you're doing." He said, "We'll have some fun," and so we just started trading. And I started doing the stuff just like I'm doing now, nothing any different. And uh, we had about 50 people in the room and it had a great time, three three really terrific days. And uh, the other two days, of course, Bryce was there and stuff. But I did the first day and it was one of those days where almost like the day we had everything set up and it worked. You know, that, that doesn't always happen, but that's what happened. And Tom liked it so much he said i'm going back to tucson with you and i said well i'll have to ask mark i said because we drove over together and mark said sure so he came over and spent a week and i actually stayed at the house one of the few people that's ever done that but at that time he was short bucks anyway it was fun and that's how i got the meeting and now he does uh he's got a lot of followers and his book is uh the best loser wins is a huge huge bestseller for uh his group over there uh in uh London. And let's move on here. I had one other one. And this is one that, uh, that we remember we, we talked about that hog trade that we missed. We didn't quite get filled. And so what I said was, we're going to take a look at this and buy the first three, eight. Now, this is hogs. I mean, this is not Forex or stuff, but there it was. You see, there was this morning, you went right down to that level right here. And then you had a really nice move of a penny. That's a $400 move in hogs. But now you see it's coming down. Now, the way you handle this is you put your stop at break even. So you're in a, a risk-free trade. I don't, I don't know what's happened. I don't think I've been stopped out because I haven't seen the, uh, I haven't seen the flies come up. So evidently it's held right there, but it went right to that level. And if you looked at it really closely, what are you looking at? You got A right here, you got B right here, you got C right here, and you got D right up here at the 1.27 and if you wanted to be real creative if you counted the number of bars in the a b leg and then count the number of bars in the cd leg you have time and price coming together at the same time so this is what the risk control is all about if you have your your stop setting in there you're not going to get hurt and that's what the patterns are for they're to tell you that you're either right or wrong because when they fail don't try to second guess them. Say, oh, maybe I should do this or maybe I should do that. If it fails, get out of Dodge. Get on a different pony or rural, whatever you're riding, and do something else. That's that's pretty much what you want to be doing. That's my two cents worth, and I'm sticking with it. So we'll be right back, 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I don't know if I'm on with uh, TFNN or not. I'm not sure. I've... Okay, broadsword to Danny Boy, broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. Can you see me? Can you see me? Oh, boy. Okay. Sorry, folks. <laughs> uh, I'm just, uh, <laughs> this is a, such a good day. I, my friend uh, Steve has come out of his coma, and I'm just, uh, I'm just ecstatic about it. Anyway, let's just move on here and cover a few things. Uh, I, I haven't looked at the markets. And I would just want to let's just see where see if we're getting still getting whacked. Uh, the uh, let me see. Yeah, we're down near the lows of the day, uh, down 300 in the Dow. Well, not uh, down. It was down 350. So it's uh, headed down a little bit. So a little bit here, a little bit there. So that seems to be uh, all right. And uh, what else we got? I think that's pretty much. Pretty much it. The gold has uh, come back about ten dollars off of its bottom, but it's uh, pretty much uh, you know holding its own here. Uh, so let's keep a close eye on that. Soybeans have uh, sold off to be near the lows. Uh, what else? Uh, the gold has sold off, of course. The Treasury bonds uh, still sold off even after it hit the 382, and so we're having some pretty good uh, information coming through here. Uh, to make us think that we are getting pretty close to uh, some of these uh, spots that uh, 
they're going to be very, very important coming f um, forward. But, but the fact that we hit all of those numbers, 786 in the S&P, uh, 60%, 61% in the Dow Jones and 38% in the uh, NASDAQ and also didn't even come close to 38% in the Russell tells us that we're still uh, going ahead. The last one I'm going to say time. We'll be right back. 77927 six six four eight